Hello, my name is Brandon with American Diesel. Today I'm going to give you a video presentation on the Bobcat Zero Turns. What we have here is a couple residential mowers and a couple commercial mowers. I can order a full line. Um, this is just kind of what I have left for the season. Uh, we'll get started. We're going to move to the residential mower. And uh, just because it's my most popular seller right here, this is the XRZ52. It's a 52 inch cut. The XRZ does come in a 48 or 61 as well. What makes this mower so great is, as you can see, there's a commercial mower seen right there to the left of it. And can you really tell the difference? No, you cannot. That's what I like about Bobcat. Bobcat's residential mowers are just as good as their commercial mowers. Now, some of the key differences, though, is the deck. The deck is a very good quality deck. It's made with a layer of 10 gauge plus a layer of 7 gauge reinforcement. Um, whereas the commercial mowers have a two layers of 10 gauge plus a layer of 7 gauge reinforcement. Now what I do like about this however is unlike its sister residential mower. See the sister residential mower has just a regular seat. This one has a big comfy commercial seat. I've had one customer tell me that it was more comfortable than his wife's Cadillac. Um, anyway, everything's real easy to get to. This particular mower offers a six gallon fuel tank. Maintenance is a breeze to change your air filter. Pop this lid up. It's even got a wing nut on here. So you can barely see, but it's got a wing nut on here. So it doesn't even require a tool to change the air filter. You can do it all by hand. Your oil and oil filter. All you got to do is pull this little cap right here out of this, stick this hose in your oil pan, and then pull the plug, and it'll drain. It's uh, very easy, and your oil filter is right behind it, and you can get a good solid grip on that thing. Um, and this here, of course, is your fill point. Now, you can flip up this seat, and as you can see, right here is just a tube that holds your operator's manual, or owner's manual. Inside of this owner's manual, there is a parts diagram. So you got a parts diagram with part numbers. So you can always search for your own parts if need be. Um, also, you see the room that you have under here to work on anything that you need to work on. These little containers here. Those little greenish containers on both sides, that's for your hydraulic uh, fluid for your hydrostatic transaxles. These transaxles are the ZT3100 series. Um, in this engine is the Kawasaki FR691B, which is a 24 horsepower Kawasaki engine. You can get to everything under here, you can get a wrench on without having to take a bunch of stuff off which is one of my favorite things about the Bobcats. Now, if I take you back up to the front, this deck, see how easy that just flipped up? Literally, you just stick your hand right here and pull up. You can get to everything with ease right here on this deck. Um, these panels here, all you gotta do is take off this nut, slide that panel off. Same thing on the other side, take off the nut, Take off the nut, slide the panel off. Uh, basically, ease, ease of access. That's what people want. When you're out there and cutting your yard, you don't want to have to take a bunch of stuff off just to get to one little piece. You, uh, you'd rather get done with it as quick as possible. That way you can go back inside and continue watching sports. You even got a t cool little 12 volt accessory plug. Now, if you come over here and you actually sit on the unit, this is what you would use to raise and lower your deck, along with this. As you can see, this has a bunch of different notches. It goes from an inch and a half as its lowest point to four and a half as it is its highest point. Most people cut at two and a half. Um, you'd basically just take this pin. When the deck is in the upright position, just select which height you want to cut at, drop it in. Then to release it, you would push down on the foot pedal, come to this lever, just flick it back, and then let it go. Now your deck is dropped. Now what I like about this feature is if there's a log or something in front of you, and you don't want to move it or go around it, you can kick this deck all the way up, 
and set it back down without it locking in position. So you could just kick up, go over, set down. It's very easy, very useful when going over a lot of uh, rooted areas, um, especially around pine trees. Um, kick up, set down. Now to make it stay in the up position for transport or just storage, however you want to do it, just push this foot pedal all the way up, grab your lock lever right here, pull it back, it'll fall into place, and then release. Now your deck is up. Um, it's a really simple, simple unit. It's my most popular seller because it comes at a great price. Um, and it's got the best of both worlds between the commercial package and the residential package. So I hope you enjoyed this and, um, stay tuned for my next video.